God, this music, this music is catchy. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Mega Man Battle Network 3 White, where we have cleared the post game, or er, not the post game, the main game. We're, we're about to get into the post game right now, but uh, we we cleared the main game in the last episode, and uh, now now that now that I'm back on the title screen, you'll see that if we click. Uh, if we press start, we will see that there is now a star next to the, co the, the, the continue option. And that's how you're going to be, you know, rewarded with stuff in this game, is you're going to get stars. And uh, there are several. Uh, and uh, the first one is right there, a golden star for clearing the story mode of the game. And uh, there will be many more along the line, and now we, we, we will be working towards getting the rest of those stars. And there's a good few of them. So, uh, yeah. We it's 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 post game game time baby. We're back to this sooner than than I expected. Honestly, I thought this series was gonna take a longer break, but uh, we are back to it. So uh, let's continue. Uh, I'm in Yoka. There is a tank. Um, yeah. So I'm in Yoka. That's very different from where we left off from where we left off in the last video. So. Uh, <clears throat> You, you know the drill like when the game technically when the game continues you'll just be back at you know the uh, the stuff for um, you'll just be back just before the final boss fight and then you you, you can just go around and do stuff and uh, I'm in Yoka because I went around and did uh, grinding because I was trying to get a bunch of stuff for the uh, for the uh, what's coming up for this for, for this post game and uh, I didn't do as much grinding as I wanted mostly just because there was um a bunch of stuff in the secret area that's that, that's coming up for this post game that we need a lot of the stuff to get that that we uh, can't get some of the stuff until we go there rather so I think I'm just gonna wait till we get to uh, the secret area and get the red go for some of the chips in there before I try to go for anything else but uh here's um I, actually I, I'll just go into the library so I grinded for a while for some of the chips that, that we need we're still we still need a fair bit as you can see right there there's 200 of the standard chips but uh there's a M cannon that one's new I grinded for that one for a fair fair bit it, I tried to get the uh Keno Dum 3s to spawn and then I fought a bunch of them and it took a while but I finally got the M cannon chip which I actually think I'm gonna put in the folder because that one is pretty good doesn't do as much damage in this game but it's pretty good uh, so yeah, we're missing a bunch of stuff in here. There's a, I got a fair amount of stuff, though. The cannonball and ice ball, obviously we have those. There's, uh, three, three black bombs. I think the other two are gonna be in the, uh, secret area. I don't remember. Uh, we have quite a few of the swords. Um, uh, step sword. I went and bought that from the shop because apparently we didn't have that yet. And I don't know why we didn't, we didn't have it. I got step cross before I got that one. But uh, we didn't have that, so I went and grinded for that. Uh, and then I still need to get the third of these, which was proving to be difficult. I did go and grind for it, but it wasn't really working out. Uh, I have all three of the zap rings. And uh, yeah, I'm just looking over everything I have. So still a little ways, ways to get. Oh, and the uh, no beam. I found these. Uh, I found the enemies that actually drop these. Uh, they're in the... Um, they're in one of the little enclosed, like, areas that you jack into. They're actually hiding in there, so you just find them, and that's where you get them from, I guess. Uh, Rock Arm 3. I really want to want to go get that one. We saw where that guy was in an earlier episode, and I don't remember where it is anymore, so I might have to go back and watch that video so I can remember where that guy is. But, um... Yeah, so I'm gonna have to look into that a little, little, little bit. What is my audio coming out of right now? Kind of looking at. Okay, it's good. My audio look weird from, from the corner of my screen, but oh well. Uh, yeah. So that's that for that. We still still got lots of stuff to get, but the major thing I wanted to t t to uh, talk about that I went grinding for was mega chips. And as you can see, we have a fair amount now. There's uh, quite a few in this game, but we have uh, we have a good few of them. Uh, all this stuff is here, so we have all these. And, uh, Godstone, Jealousy, Full Cust, uh, yeah, all those. Now, the ones I want to talk about are the Navi chips. Uh, you can get Navi chips up to V4 in this game, and, uh, some of them are pretty insane to get. And, uh, Gutsman, I went and grinded on that, and I fought Gutsman at the, uh, 
W3 area, and I managed to get Gutsman V3. So how you get V3 chips is you have to, um, do, I believe you have to defeat the boss Navi in very, very fast. Like, you have to get, like, an S rank or just defeat them really, really fast. And and, and if you do it fast enough and meet all those, those requirements, then you'll get the, get, get the V3 chip. Um, there's Beast Man. I actually didn't, didn't have that yet, and it bothers me. But, uh, yeah, these, uh, the, these guys are roaming encounters, so I'll have to run around and figure out where these guys are. Uh, Metal Man, I went and fought, and fought, fought him again. It took me a while to get his V3 chip, because I was, um, I kept getting, getting V2, because apparently I, I wasn't fighting him fast enough. But eventually I beat him fast enough without taking much damage, and then I got v, V3 finally. And then there's, uh, King Man. His were really hard. Uh, he's... King Man is not fun to fight. Uh, I still don't don't have V3, but getting V2 was hard enough. So getting V3 is gonna be uh, a challenge. But I just decided to get that another time, because I kept trying to fight him. Uh, I couldn't get to get to V3. It proved to be really hard, so I'll have to go back and get it again. And, uh, finally, the Mist Man chips. Uh, I have all the way up to V3. Uh, those ones are not that hard to get, honestly. V, uh, Mist Man is not that difficult. But, uh, yeah, I have all three of, the three of those now. Now, V4s are really hard, because you have to have, I believe you have to have something called the Team Style on, and then you have to S-rank, um, some bosses in battle to get V4. So, V4s are pretty hard. I'll have to look into that a bit further. Um... But yeah, so those are like some of the few things I got. And the last thing I want to show you before we finally get uh, going here, uh, Holy Panel, that's new, by the way. That was dropped. That's if you get uh, the Brushman uh, enemies uh, drop this if you defeat them in battle fast enough. I don't believe there's a Brushman uh, chip. There might be. I don't really remember, but you can get this from them then at least if you defeat them fast enough. So there's all those. Uh, Metagel 2, I think that one's new as well. There's a few things in here I could show off. Uh, Needler 2. But what I really want to show you, uh, there's a uh, mine. I grinded up bug frags to buy that. Uh, you need a hundred to buy that. It's in the Yoka uh, bug frag store. It does a whopping 300 damage in this game. That is insane. That is a powerful chip. But what I really want to show you are the download chips, aka the chips that, that, that you couldn't normally obtain in the main game, actually. And one of those just happens to be base GS. Actually, one of the most powerful chips in the series, to my knowledge. A whopping 700 damage. I don't think any other chip is quite that powerful in the series. Not th that I know of, anyway. And, uh, this chip was, uh, unobtainable in the original game. Uh, it, it existed, but I don't believe that you could get it in the original game. Not even in the, uh, Japanese version. I think it was just unobtainable originally. And, um, yeah, that was that's uh, one that you can get in this version, and uh, you. The other one is Punk, which was another download chip, and this isn't in the uh, library, by the way, for whatever reason. So I had to show you this this one in here, which is uh, Mr. Famous's Navi, actually, and uh, he will um, he'll give you that, um, and you can download that into the game, and that can be done if you want these chips in the game yourself. You you just go in here and you see where it says download chip. You can go into that, and then it takes you here, and you can download these two into your game. So, chips that are, that were previously unobtainable, they're in the game now. All you have to do is download them, so pretty cool stuff. Anyway, yeah, let's let, let, let's get going. I, I have 32,000 Zennies. I was hoping to grind up to um, uh, 40,000 so that I could buy uh, the Mega Chip Old Wood from Higsby before we got back to recording, but... Honestly, it was just taking forever. I just decided I'm gonna get it and get it later. It just takes a long time to get that. That thing is like 40,000 zenny. I think that's like the most powerful uh, chip that you can get in this game. Or n not, not the most powerful, but I'm thinking too fast. The most expensive chip that you can buy in the game. There, that's what I was trying to say. But uh, this isn't the area we need to be in right now. We're not supposed to be in the zoo. We're supposed to be over here. Because I'm going to show you guys where the, where, where the secret area is that's now unlocked for the post-game, which I believe that we can get to right now, I think. I'll have to find out. I believe it requires 100 S-frags, which is the, um, which of course means 100 standard chips, but I'll find out right now. Oh, boy. I can't even get through the intro and I'm already talking a ton and I'm running out of my voice is going. All right, so I think we go back to where to where where Serenade originally was, and then we jack in here. And 
And then we go into the hole. Mega Man go go down the hole. I believe we can, we, we can get in here now. Yep, here we go. So, you jump in here. And here we go. Yes, so we can get here now. This, my friends, is the secret area. Yeah, it's literally just called the secret area. Secret one, rather. And uh, this is actually known as kind of like Serenade's area, I guess. And uh, this area is really, really big. I'll just say that. It's not as big as the Nebula area in 5, I don't think. But uh, it still is pretty big. This area is pretty large. And uh, it's going to be difficult, too. There's bosses in here. There's very strong enemies in here. This is like a whole other story once you enter here. It's really cool. This is like an awesome post game. So uh, let's start look looking around. Uh, but there's going to be a whole bunch of locked doors, so, which which require a certain number of chips to get. So we won't be getting very far right now. But I can show you guys what the secret area looks like, and we'll try to get as far as we can. All right. So the things you're going to encounter are these weird things. Beep, beep. Security system activated. Intruder detected. Leave immediately. Do you want to ha try to hack the, the security system? Now, if, if you say yes, you'll have to battle these, 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 these things. These are the numbers. Number one, two, and three. Now, I believe these guys are, um... I need to remember how to beat these guys. I think they're pretty difficult. Does my buster work on them? I don't remember. Yep, I don't remember how to fight them. I think you have to defeat them in the in. The, I thought you had to defeat them in that order, but uh, yeah, there uh, that didn't that didn't happen. And if you do that, they hit you with a crazy powerful attack, and it takes you down to like one health. So yeah, don't take those guys lightly. Now here are some of the enemies you encounter in here. They're really really powerful. But these are some of the, the you, you can get some of these stronger chips from, from these guys, obviously, so you might want to consider doing so. Oh yeah, that's a problem. Those guys are on holy panels. I used to, I can't hit you. There. And I got nothing because I sucked. Uh, I'm gonna probably be having Buster Max on right now, because these guys in here are really, really hard. And then I think there's, um... Oh, I meant to change, change the folder around. I have swords in here, like a whole bunch of swords, because it was for the Drillman fight. Like that, uh, that sword, I honestly have no idea what that's, what that's for. The Gaia sword and the Gaia blade, I don't know what those chips, chips are for. I tried the, or how you use them. I tried them in a battle once and it didn't really do anything, so I don't know how those are supposed to work. There's these guys hanging around that you can talk to, though. Our Lord Serenade has set in places great monoliths. These stones are used to seal away evil viruses. If you do not wish, wish to die, then do not break, break, break the stones. But there is only one thing. Only one thing in which the Swiss world... In this world, which may break them. A thing which Serenade has made. It lies on the edge... Uh, at the edge of the undernet. The hammer. So a bit of... So, uh, so a bit of a hint there. A hammer at the edge of the undernet. Remember, I think he's referring to the. Okay, uh, I think he he's referring to um, the, the Zeus hammer mega chip actually, which we don't have yet. We're gonna we're gonna be able to get that soon, but not now. Oh boy. Okay, please, I'd like to hit you. That goes on for freaking ever. I like the background in this area too. I like when when you when you're in battles. I love that background. Ah oh, man, I want that in there. I gotta remember remember how to beat those guys. I think. All right. So here's the first the first of many doors. I am the door of experience. 
You must, you must know more than 140 fragments of power. I will not open until that time. So, yeah, what he's basically saying is you need 140, uh, whoops, 140 standard chips, which we don't have right now. We can go into the library, man. Yeah, so, that's all I might be able to show right now. But that's, see here, Joker Eye. I want him to go down. But yeah, this area is pretty nuts. We got like holy panels and. Like holy panels and ice panels and all kinds of things. But yeah. This is this is the secret area, or at least at least at least a look at it. I like uh, I like this music theme. Very unique music theme. Metrodo. Right, I'm gonna try to go for this. Ah, these freaking ice panels. I can't hit any, 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 anything. Ah. Okay, there there was another guy on the other side that we can talk to. These are the great monoliths that he was talking about. I don't think we can move this. I wonder if someone knows how we can move it. Let's uh, look, look, look for them. But I think we can't. I can show one thing off. I think it's in one of these corners. No. Not there, any, anyway. Oh, crap. Oh, thank God. Oh, combo them. Very nice. It's not like I'm trying to get bug frags anymore. I don't really need them. I've gotten all the bug frag stuff, but, you know. I think it's in one of these corners that these guys appear. Unless they, they, they don't appear yet. They might not. I mean, guess I'm not going to be able to run. Yeah, no. The enemies in here are, like, really powerful. Ugh. Good thing I have that barrier on. Ow. God, everything hurts. Tactus goes on forever, too. Okay, uh, maybe they, they, they don't appear yet. If they don't appear yet, then that's literally all we can do here right now. Uh, doesn't look like it. Well, okay. Yeah, you can't jack out here. You, you literally have to go back from there. But that's all we can do for right now. I should have remembered that I needed 140 standard chips before I came here. All right, so really quick, let me just find out where that hammer is. Okay, I'm back. So I looked into it a little bit, and uh, we can't actually get the hammer until we go to Undernet 7. So that's an area we haven't even seen yet. So uh, we, we, we might save that for a little bit later, but there is actually a few things that we can do. For example, the Mr. Quiz stuff. Uh, we, we haven't done these yet, so I guess I'll cover these now in this video. We'll just do a few extra things in this video since I can't do much in the secret area at the moment. So uh, now that I have actually time and the story isn't taking up a lot of my time, we'll just do this now. Uh, you bet, yeah. So we, here's Mr. Quiz. He'll ask you a bunch of questions and you, and, and you just got to answer correctly. How many holes are in ACDC Park's whole mountain? Um... ACDC Park's whole mountain. Uh, isn't there three? Okay, it is three. Yeah, I thought so. Where is three? What is the left? What is on the left screen in the virus lab? Um... remember what these were. Well, we know what, uh, yeah, we know what, uh, question one is, right? Ah! Don't mash buttons. Yeah, you bet. 
three. Um, I know there's there's a sword on one of the screens. I remember that. These are like you you have to really be be paying attention. By the way, these are things that he asks you that are like things you wouldn't normally look at. So you're just gonna miss them. Um, I know it's not. Wait, is it Mega Man? I don't remember Mega Man being on there. Okay, no, it's not. So we know it. So we know it's a Metar then. I don't remember there 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 being a Metar on there, but I guess it's a Metar. Yep, it's a Metar. Okay, I don't really remember that. How many drawings are on the wall outside Classroom 5? Oh, God. Um, I know what he's talking about. It's the little, you know, the scroll drawings that are, like, outside of that one classroom. We, we looked at those earlier. I don't remember how many there are, though. There's one for every student. Uh, that's uh, for every student in Lance class. Oh, God, how many desks are there in there? I'm, look I'm counting the desks. So there's like three or four in every row, right? There's like three, so. I think there's nine. There's like nine desks. Yeah, I was right. So that's that's what it is, it's nine. You're on a roll. Here's question number four. How much is a cup of coffee at the Beach Street Cafe? Oh, jeez. I've never e I've never even gotten a coffee from from from, from there. Well, these seem way too high, so... Wait, they are? It's not 10? Wow, that seems pretty high. It's 380. Okay. Only one more question to go. How many toy pandas are there in the zoo raffle ticket booth? <laughs> That's, like, right when you enter there, too. I feel like I would have noticed that one. Uh, Frickin', I don't know, three? That's three. Yeah, I, so I was right the first first time. Thanks for playing. Here's your prize. And for winning, you get a regular up three from him. Ah, oh, man, those Mr. Quiz things, like, you, you really have to be paying attention to know what he's talking about. Like, you have to pay attention to the little details. So they're pretty hard. Uh, there is another one somewhere, too. Um, uh, where did it say the other quiz guy was? Uh, Hades Isle. So I guess we'll go... Yeah, look, right there. Three of them. If, if I had just been, been, been paying attention to, to that, I would have known it. So that's on the beach. On the beach. So let's go to Hades Isle, because that's where the next quiz guy is. He's up on the mountain, I think, so we gotta go up here. Yeah, there he is. So, this one is a long one, I believe. There's like 15 questions on this one, so if I send... This is the Quiz King. Uh, yeah, so I think this is like the strongest... This this is like like the hardest one. I don't expect any favors. Uh, question number one. How much is a ticket from ACDC Town to Yoka for a child? It's, yeah, it's, it's free. That's, that's the trick. Like, they don't cost anything. They're free. That one's easy. What's the attack force of Canball? Hundred damage, I think. Oh no, it's crap. Okay, yeah, I am actually seeing it now. It's 160 damage. Dr. Akari's lab is, is, is on what floor in Scilab? Uh, the s okay, he's behind that door on the back, so that's... Um, Let's see, you enter Scilab, you go around, you go up the stairs, so that's technically, I think, the first floor? 
Then you go up the second one, and then there's the elevator. And then you go on the third, and then I think it's the fifth? Yes. Don't fade now, it's question number four. A spider has, has eight, a rhino has four. How many have you? Two. Two, two, two legs. That was pretty easy. What did Gutsman have to face in the endurance contest? Uh, I don't remember which one that one was. Am I supposed to, like... Okay, yeah, it's... Apparently it's heat, okay. So... How many girls are in class 5A? So that's Lance class. Um, there's four. How does Tamako decorate her, her hair? Uh, well, that one is pretty obvious. It would be a silver gear because her Navi is, uh, you know, her Navi is Metal Man. And gears are kind of his thing. In what field was Wily the Master? Uh, robots. That would be pretty obvious if you guys know the classic Mega Man games. What is this game's second title? <laughs> Battle Battle Network. Some some of these are really easy for this for for, for this guy. Uh, question number ten. What is Bubble Man's dance called? Uh, the Bubbly Dance. We remember that. These are actually, some of these are pretty simple compared to the other guy. I think the other guy was harder. Uh, what type of Navi uh, is Beast Man? A beast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Question number 12. What was Higsby's job in the past? Uh, he was a teacher, actually. Uh, Question number 13. What name is on the pillars in Metro Line Station? What name is on the pillar? Uh, frick. Okay. Yeah, St. Beach. In the past, what was Yai crazy about? The, yeah, it's, I guess it's that one. Okay. And then number 15, final, final choice. What is the title of the DNN TV series? I might actually know this one. Uh, Love and Friendship. Uh, Love and Loss. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so some of those last ones, those, those, those last three are pretty complicated, but uh, some of those are really obvious and easy. But for clearing this one, you get Navi plus 40. I think that's uh, both of the quiz guys in the game. Never thought I'd see a winner in my lifetime. Well, you just saw a winner now. Okay, so anyway, this is what he what he gives you. Navi plus 40 will add extra damage to Navi chips, and uh, it's a mega chip, so I don't know if I can put that in there right now. Uh, how many Navi chips do, or mega chips do I have in my folder? Three. I don't know if I can put a fourth one in. I'm about to find out. Well, actually, we don't need this in here anymore. I don't want that in there. I don't know, I don't know what that does. Okay, now, one other thing we can do before I end this video is we can actually go and do another uh, boss battle right now. Te te technically, it's a boss battle. And uh, it's in this same area, so... You go into the DNN Center. And remember how, how uh, Chod was talking about how... Uh, we owed him a battle at the NN1. Well, if you keep on going. If you walk over here. Oh, is this not where he is? Where is. I thought this was this. This, this is where he is. 
Okay, well, I'm back. Uh, I thought Chod was supposed to be here. At least this is where I remember him being, but uh, maybe he isn't here. Maybe, maybe he's somewhere else. Uh, maybe I'll look into that next time, because uh, this is just a few little things I want to do before I end this video. Let's try this. Let's see if I can get any chips from, from, from this thing. And then we'll probably, like, end the episode. Whoops. I actually don't want to get rid of that one. And uh, Rock Cube, sure. Let's see. Oh, shield. Yeah, I might just end up grinding because it's going to be kind of a thing to try to get those. Oh, one thing I didn't mention before was this guy. Uh, if you talk to him, he'll give you the uh, famous folder. Uh, I think I already have it. Or the fame folder. Uh, yeah. So there's the fame folder. This is actually, this is what it gives you. So, uh, it gives you some, some decent stuff. The lava stage, ice stage, and all those stage chips are in here, as well as all of the uh, fire, aqua, and the electric, so you don't need, need to worry about getting those. But that's that, that's what that guy gives you, if you talk to, talk to him. Uh, yeah, I want to use that folder. Thank you. Okay, well... I think we're already, uh, after doing all that, we're already a fair ways into this episode. So I think next time, I'll look for Chad, because uh, we need to go, 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 go find him. I think you have a pretty good idea of what we're going to be doing once I find him. So I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.